bar or a party trying to catch someone's attention, but you couldn't, how would you catch it? First, I'm going to try to pass you a couple times. And I'm going to make sure I pass you in your eyesight. So, you probably going to see me. <laughs> and if you see me, you Even know how to holler that you got somebody. That don't work for some reason. Because she's blind, let's say that. You still don't see me. I be kind of ballsy, so I'm probably just going to go up to you. I can see you do that. And be like, you look good. If I couldn't say something. I guess I would like send them a drink maybe, but I've never done that. Like that's not my vibe. That's a boss move though. Should we cheers? Cheers, sis. Let's start the video. I chugged it. You're done. I chugged it. That's okay, that's the <laughs> I need to I need to catch up. Mm. What's up guys? Welcome back. You guys said you wanted part two of the session, so Lil came back about to do part two. Let's see what we got today. Alright, let's get into it. Let's get into it. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you on a date? One good, one bad thing. Um, let me think. I have a good I have a good one in mind. Okay. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, so I was out at the bar by myself. <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> You're brave into a bar by yourself, which I got too much anxiety. So I didn't plan to go to the bar by myself, but I was running errands and you know, I was looking good. So I was like, should I pick up food and just like take it back to the crib? Or should I like go get like some happy hour food? You know, just like take yeah. myself out on a little date or whatever. That's you know? cute. Just hang out by myself. So I was like, Okay, I found a little cute happy hour spot. It had really good deals and it had a really cute ambiance. So I was like, oh, this is a sign. Like, I should go. <laughs> it was meant to be. It was <laughs> meant to be. Like, this is just my vibe. This was just the price I was looking for. Like, it's, It fit the criteria. It, it fit the criteria. It was close in location. Okay. I was like, say less, I'm going, right? That sounds fun. So, but mind you, you know, I'm looking good, right? <laughs> so, actually, I don't know if this counts as the first date. It's kind of the thing where, like, it turned into a, into a date. Because I didn't, I didn't know I, this day wasn't planned. I mean, so I don't know if this counts, but this is this. this okay. it, it kind of turned. It kind of low key, but yeah, it kind of turned into you. a day. Went out to the bar, bar restaurant, whatever. But I'm sitting at the bar top, I'm just like eating and stuff. It was really good, and I was like, "This is the vibe. This is the vibe." Okay, there's not that many people here. Like, this is a good spot to go to. I was just thinking, like, "Oh, I'm about to come back here." You know, this is like definitely like a cute little. Yeah. hidden spot like to come to during this time so then this dude walks in and i'm like the only person around his age kind of like at the bar there's literally only like four of the people there's yeah. like a married white couple and there's like this other white guy who's older yeah so i was like this nigga's gonna come sit next to me <laughs> i already know who's gonna try to come sit next to me so then he sits next to me right and you know, we're not talking at first. And then he's like, oh, what's up? He was like, oh, you got those one shoes on? He was like, oh, nice shoes, da, 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 da. I was like, thanks, you know, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. And then he had his little Chanel bags. So I was like, what you got in the bag, you know? He was like, go ahead, open it. I was like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. Say so this. take out the little Chanel box. Open the box, I thought it was gonna be some shoes. It was like a whole not cute Chanel purse. I said, this is a purse, so I'm like, where's your bitch at, right? I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna date you. Yeah. Like, so I don't care, like, but where is your bitch at? Like, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, that's cute, that's cute. And then I forgot what he said. He had said something, basically hinting like, am I dating somebody? Yeah. You know, do I have somebody? And then I was like, no. And then I basically asked him the same thing too. So I was like, you got this person. He was like, oh no, I want, I'm a personal stylist or something. That's what he said. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, that, that's why. Long story short, th this is the only reason why I say it's the craziest thing because it's not, it's not huge, but it's just, I didn't know him. Yeah. And I literally had only met him for like 20 or 30 minutes. So we were at that bar that I was at and then we had talked for like 20 or 30 minutes. I was already there for like 30 minutes. You yeah. know, we just got a couple more drinks. He was like, you know, you're really cool. Like, you know, you're trying to go to the next spot or whatever because it was still early. It was yeah. like daytime and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm down. He was like, all right, I just have to stop at the store because I have to pick up something for like the same client or whatever. Okay. I was like, all right, bet. 
go to Louis Vuitton, bitch. Why does this nigga buy me a whole bracelet? Oh. I think I see Marie's whole bracelet. <laughs> I said, sir, I've only known you for like 30 minutes. I said, that is crazy. Yeah, no, for real. That's crazy. Why? Do you still have it? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, do I still have it? Of course. <laughs> of course I still have it. That's this is 30 cool. minutes, bro. I said, that, that is crazy. Broke That's my crazy. record. That's wild. Because y'all were just supposed to hang out. Like. <laughs> like, I didn't even know you. I started the day not knowing you at all. Like, I know, I knew nothing about you. I walked up in there not knowing you. Not knowing you. Walked out with the Louis Vuitton bracelet, bitch. <laughs> what? Okay, and then a bad. Yeah, a bad one now. It's hard for me to have a bad, like, first date or bad date in general because... It's not like I've ever been on a blind date or I met someone at the, like, you know, the mall or, like, the yeah. store. And you're like, okay, like, let's meet later today or, like, next week yeah. at dinner, you know, where I know nothing about them. Like, I, the people that I've, like, went on a date with, I kind of know them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or I've gotten to know them. Talk to them a bit. Before the date. Yeah. Yeah. So the only one I could think of is, like, way back when in high school, I had an ex and... <laughs> I had an ex. Okay, I'm gonna bleep the name out, but it was. Oh! Yes! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> and then so she kept pushing up and was like, "Let me come see you." Da 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 da. And I was like, mm, "Nah, I'm solid." And then she was like, "No, I'm in the area. Like, let me come see you." Like, and I was this. I was still in high school, obviously, because yeah. shorty. And then so she pulled up. It was like lunch, but I skipped class. She was like, "Let me take you out or whatever." I told you she might as well just Okay, it's video. fine. Whatever. She's made for the camera. All right, Kenley, you can stay. It's fine. So she picked me up from lunch. Boom. Takes me on a date. It's just like dreadful because I don't even know why I said yes. You know how much I was not f***ing with her when I wasn't f***ing with her. So yeah. I was like, ugh, like, no. No. So anyways, I don't know why, but maybe a bitch was hungry, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe a bitch felt bad. Maybe a bitch was hungry. So I was like, all right, let's go. And then we went and, you know... First of all, if you know me, you know I be big smoking. Period. So, she was like, we can grab a bite to eat, we can smoke, that, that, that. that's probably how she got me. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll go. <laughs> we didn't put on out. That's probably how she got me. And then, so I was like, all right, bet, boom. Go out, get some food or whatever. Food was low-key whack, so I was hella mad. Yeah. yeah. How I feel about good food. Yeah. And then, bitch, why, why did she have, like, a tiny like Dutch, like, it was like the skimpiest Dutch I've ever seen in my whole life, even to this day. I swear to God. And I was like, it was just flabbergasting to me in the moment. It was just, bitch, what? I had she no never words. Had like weed for a blunt, so she she already had it rolled too. That's why I was like, did you just like find something in your car? Yeah, like, a little nug. And you know, like she didn't smoke like that, so I was like, it "No, was you bad. know what? A friend gave her a nug." A nug. And then, it was just bad, bro. It was just bad. I was like, "This is just embarrassing." That's crazy. This is. She should, I should been not be here. She should she, be embarrassed. She was but, older than you, or she should have been embarrassed. Yeah, she should have been embarrassed. I was like, "Come on, bro! Like you, you coming up to somebody that smokes every day? Like, why would you even come? Yes, with this shit. Like, come on, bro." Come on. That's easy, easy to make come with a full dime, bro. Let's be so for real. That's that was crazy. a bad one. Luckily, I haven't really had any bad dates like that. I'm thankful I haven't had to, like, That's, sneak out a window Those are the younger years. You know what I mean? What's one of the craziest things you did in high school? <laughs> What's the craziest shit we've done? Well, we, we was just outside. We were. All like, we, we weren't that bad because we never got in trouble with the cops. We always came home eventually. But we were told to go home. We, were, we, went, we went home. home. It, like, we checked in and shit. And whoever we came with is who we left with. It's who we left with. Every time. No more, no less. Every time. But we was just doing bad shit, like, together. We were just... <laughs> it wasn't... I feel like there was nothing, like, super duper crazy I did besides... I feel like it wasn't bad because we were technically... <laughs> allowed to be out and about like. exactly but we would be like 
party. Party. Like, they think we just go every week. Few hours. We were there. We were out all night. Every week, and we had Henny Project Part Henny One. Henny Project Part One. Henny Project Part Two. two. Henny Project Part Three. Like. <laughs> We would go out, and we would go out, and we would name the really good party experiences, like little projects. Because <laughs> they were projects. We were so like, funny. Like, they were really projects. They were projects. We would be out like, all night. We'd be out to like eight or nine. We so leave like five o'clock yes. in the morning, and then everybody would go to Sunday softball practice <laughs> and condition for four hours for straight. Four hours after being. Drunk, you're supposed, to, be, you're supposed to bring lunch and all this shit. You practice, and here we are. That's out all night. I drinking. don't know how we were doing that, bro. We were all doing it too. Like now, like I can't do that I now. If I drink, like even for New Year's and stuff, when I was drinking, it's like it takes me the whole day to recover. That's probably like the craziest stuff. Or what? I guess just, or the fights we would get into at the party. Yeah, we would get into so many. Yeah, fights, there was, bro. it's not even. Cute. And then we're not even our cute. Fault. It was never it was our ne fault. We never started it. Okay? It is not even like we were those girls. It's not our fault. Like, no, I no, swear to I God. Guess. Like, it was never our fault. We minded our own business. We did. We were dancing by ourselves or whoever. They were hating. Wanted to dance with us, and that was whatever. But One um, of the craziest things is bitches got expelled. <laughs> <laughs> bitches got expelled. Like, bro, I work so hard to get she to She had went school. to a different school than the... Than the our friend group. Yes. And then we begged for years. We begged her mom, please let her come. Please, at least just one year. Just let her come. And then she finally said finally, yes. Finally. Like, it was like finally. my sophomore year. Yeah, sophomore year. Finally said yes. I'll go to her house every morning so we could drive to school. This little girl, she want to hate. Ugh. So, you know what I mean? Like, I could have graduated with y'all. Like, she was like, <laughs> That could have hey, been it. That's so foul. Two anyway, weeks in. Two weeks two in. Two weeks Two weeks in. in. I lasted like 13 days, sis. 13 days like, I lasted at that school. That was I was trying to not fight her so bad. I was like, But she wanted, she wanted it. She told it. Then, fought, got myself expelled. <laughs> got her a bad hair. What's something you know now that you wish you knew when you were 16? A lot of things. <laughs> I wish I knew more of what exactly like I wanted to do when I was younger and then kind of like always kept at that. You know how people yeah. be like little prodigies, like soccer prodigies. Yes. And, like, I wouldn't want to do a sport even though like we were always athletes, you know what I yeah. mean? I wouldn't want to do a sport, but I wouldn't want to be like a prodigy at something. You something. know what I mean? Like <laughs> that would be hella dope when you're 15, 16. People are always like, oh, you're young. like. You could always figure it out, but I feel like they should kind of make and start figuring it out like like then more early hour then, and it's not like it has to be permanent. Yeah, but kind of like but let have me show you so many things. You, like, yeah, and really like stick on what options are and exactly what you feel works for you. Do you think the first date sets the tone for the rest of the relationship? For the most part, yeah, I feel like the first date sets the tone for relationships. Every time I have a first date, I know this like it's the same vibes throughout the relationship. Okay. So I personally think the first date sets the tone. But also you want to make sure you're not getting love bombed. Yeah. You know? I was going to say, have you ever had like a date where you felt like, or say a first date went really well, and then you keep dating this person and you're like, no, oh, like, like, off. and it starts to go yeah. downhill. Like, have you ever had that? Where it didn't take you out, but like you took note of it, I guess? I don't think so. No. I don't think so, but I know that happens to people, you know, where but like, I feel like you are a good try. judge of character though. I feel yeah, like. I try to be, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. You know, sometimes it slips through the cracks. And... Oh, no! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. We live and we learn, all right? But <laughs> Would you or have you kissed someone on the first date? Yes. <laughs> Anyways. I don't have anything against kissing somebody on the first day. If the vibes are there, then... If I like you, I like you. I'm gonna kiss yeah. you. Yeah. And like I said, most of the time, or all the time, when I'm going on a date with somebody, I already know you. So it's not like I'm just meeting you for yeah. the first time or don't really know you like that. Or it's so. our first time meeting up in person. Or like. What's your favorite way to be affectionate with someone? I'm definitely a physical touch type person. Like, I need to be touching you somehow. And I just like being, you know, like all cuddled up. Yeah. And, you know, teed up with my boo. <laughs> and <laughs> I like, like, acts of service. You know, I'll, I like doing acts of service and then 
I like. I need. I so you're like it. receiving it and giving it out. Like, yeah. I feel like that's how. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't really need to talk. You know. Like, yeah. As long as I got the actions, I'm good because then I already know. Like I, I get the vibes. Like it's great to hear words of affirmation and everything, but if you're doing what you need to be doing, then I'm already like I already know it's good yeah. without you saying it. So. Honestly, I feel like words of affirmation make me like uncomfortable because. <laughs> Stop. Like, like, stop telling me these things. You're going to feel the love. Okay? You're, you're going to feel, feel it. it. I don't Everybody know if you're going to hear it. it, but you're going to feel it. You'll <laughs> definitely feel it. Most inconvenient place you've been turned on. In my friend's bed. <laughs> what? I was in my friend's bed. Oh my god. <clears throat> And I had slept over her house. We were like, you know, out turning up or whatever. So I had slept over her house. And then, you know, when we got in for the night, I had sent a little cute video, you know, <laughs> to my green. I had sent a video. It wasn't even nothing like nasty. It was just, just, just me looking good. good. <laughs> it was just me looking good. Space car don't decline. Never. Never. And, you know, she had said what she said. And I was like, oh. <laughs> That's what we on right now. I'm in a bed, but I'm not in the right bed right now. <laughs> Please let me get back home first. Got a blast. <laughs> What's the first thing you do if you woke up as a man? That's a good question. I would do so many things. I woke up as a white man. You know what I would do? Run the world. <laughs> You're IP president. I would probably go to like. A guy's like locker room or like football practice, you know, just like see how, see how talk. they interact. Yeah, see how it is. The dynamic between everybody. Just yeah. see how that species lives. <laughs> see how the other side lives. Yeah. What's your philosophy <laughs> of life? Just do what you want to do because in the end, what's the point of life if it's not worth living? Just yeah. do what you want to do. You're like, oh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Just do it. Why not? Like, why not? Why not? Let's why do we go? Like, we why not? Just do it. I'm a story to tell. Let's yeah, say. exactly. For a lot of things, you can reverse stuff. You're like, I want to chop off my hair. Girl, do it. It's going to grow back. If you want to move a different country, like, girl, move. Like, you can always move back, you mm-hmm. know? If you want to date this person, date. You can always break up. Like, that, and that's all right. It's a learning experience. Whatever. That's, that's life. Pick out two physical, emotional, lifestyle, and intellectual compatibility. I would have to pick... Physical, because I need chemistry. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely like I need chemistry, especially if you are a person who craves physical touch. Like that's yeah. really very important. Yeah, I need chemistry, like real, real chemistry. Like if me and my girlfriend are in like an elevator or we're in a room with people and you don't know that we're together, like you should be able to look you feel that. Yeah, together. exactly. Just because we have so much chemistry, like that's what I that's the tension I need in the room. <laughs> You don't want everyone to feel it. Exactly. <laughs> and I want to say intellectual. I want to say intellectual. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, damn, I want lifestyle too. I feel like you can learn to gear to each other's emotional like state. You know what I mean? When you, you have can, some type of intellect. You can gear to how that person wants to be handled emotionally. But... If I have somebody who I'm physically attracted to and who I'm intellectually attracted to, I guess I could live a different lifestyle because I f- with you so tough. Yeah, I feel you. So I don't need that. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> I talked it out. <laughs> Mine would be probably physical and emotional because I need, I'm a very emotional person. So it's like, I need someone who's understanding physical and emotional. Emotional for myself. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely needs physical. For sure. There's just no <laughs> time with that. Right. <laughs> like, you have to be attracted to a person for sure. Like, that's the one way that it makes it continuously work. Because, like, do you ever hear people, like, complain about their partner? Oh, my partner, like, themselves go. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, they yeah. try to go find something else. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You kind of have to, you know, you got to keep up for your person. You don't want to get comfortable. Keep up for yourself. No, like, keep up for your person. Like yeah, exactly. For sure, keep up for yourself. You definitely. Because honestly, I feel like it's just like it helps you feel confident in a way. Right. Because if one person in a relationship is hella keeping up with themselves and you're not, 
even if that person doesn't like if they don't mind like oh i go to the gym and i eat healthy and i do this and you don't do it but i don't mind i still love you you're gonna feel self-conscious yeah you're gonna start feeling a little insecure about it and it doesn't even have to be the gym it could just whatever makes you just being yeah yeah. whatever's making them like if you have hella hobbies you know what i mean because like you're like a housewife or whatever but you have hella hobbies you have a little side business then yeah uh, that's what you need to do to keep up with yourself you know yeah yeah definitely Next What's an question. appropriate body count number before you start secretly judging someone? <laughs> it depends how old you are. Because if I'm dating somebody that's like 27, 28, I expect them to have a couple more bodies under their belt than somebody who's, you know, 23. Yeah. Let's say for somebody who's around my age, give or take one year, maybe like 12, 10, 12. Well, somewhere around there. Just because if you think about it too, whenever you started, like, whenever you lost your virginity, yeah. you're probably having, you're probably catching, like, two bodies every year. Yeah, okay. Give or take, you know, from 16 to 18 type thing, like, for the most part. Which is pretty of, consistent, I feel like. So. Yeah, a lot of people are probably catching, like, at least two bodies every year. And I was in a relationship for a minute, so if I wasn't in a relationship for five years, that'd be two extra yeah. bodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot if you think about it yeah yeah if you were at a bar or a party trying to catch someone's attention but you couldn't how would you catch it if i was at a bar or a party and i was trying to catch someone's attention but i couldn't how would i catch it yeah hmm. so i don't even think so you're like making a little eye contact and yeah like, i'm trying to put contact? myself in the scenario and they're not like, maybe they're just not seeing you, or maybe they're just like, just kind of yeah. stuff going on. Yeah. So see me. I'm at a bar, and I really, really, really want some girl to like, I see that she's not noticing me. Like, she just doesn't see me. She yeah. has either hella friends around her, she's doing something. First, I'm gonna try to pass you a couple times. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom yeah, and pass you. Have you seen me real quick? Go to the other side <laughs> of the bar, right? Like, I'm gonna pass you, so. And I'm going to make sure I pass you in your eyesight. Yeah. So, you're probably going to see me. <laughs> and if you see me, you Even know how to holler and you got somebody. Right. Like, if that don't work for some reason, because she's blind, let's say that. <laughs> if that don't work, I'm passing in your eyesight like once or twice. I'm only going to do it twice. And you still don't see me. I have to really want you, bro. Like, I have to really either be... Like, you have to be a hell of fun. If I pass you twice... And I know you're. I'm in your line of vision. You don't say nothing. I'm either gonna, now gonna be turned off, <laughs> and then I'm probably just gonna like go up to you. Like I be kind of ballsy, so I'm probably just gonna go up to you. I can see you do that. And be like, you look good. I can only do so many things to get your attention. Yeah. I'm gonna just go up to you. If I couldn't say something, like if we're playing a game and they were like, can't say nothing to this person, you have to get them to come up to you. I guess I would like. Send them a drink, maybe, but I've never done that. Like, that's not my vibe. That's a boss move, though. though. That is a boss move. I want to do that. Someone needs to go to me. (laughs) But if you really, like, if you really a bad bitch and, like, I just, I need it, like, then you can get a drink. I'll send you a drink, whatever. And then technically, I won't be talking to them. And then the bartender will be like, Yeah, she said, She said, Yeah, she said, Come holla at her, too. So, what's that? Come here. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? If I could have one superpower, I think it would be the power to, what is it called? We could just like transport anywhere. Teleport. Yes. I think that would be a good one. That'd I would want to teleport. I was like, that'd be mine too. Fly. Mm, I don't really want to be in the air like that, but that's cool. But it would just be better if you could teleport when yeah. you could fly. I get there in one second, bitch. Exactly. Boom. Teleport into the next country. I'm good. I think. If that's I want to go I see mean. some views, I can teleport there for the views. What do you keep in your purse? Should I give my purse? You should keep your purse. <laughs> okay, let me get my purse. All right. Let's see what I have in my purse. I be keeping like a. Is that your whole life in here? <laughs> <laughs> I be keeping so much stuff in here, and recently I took like a couple things out, but there's a good amount of stuff in here. So I got my wallet. Obviously, got my wallet. You guys want to see what's in here? I got my cards. I don't really keep cash in here. I got mine and Lil's pics in here. So cute. Oh, we need to get more of those. I know, we do. I got some foreign money. <laughs> Where is that from? 
Ali. Oh, shit. I got some more picks. Me and my booski. I'm going to blur it out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Y'all cute. Thanks. They're cute. <laughs> I feel like I always got to keep a lot of stuff in my purse. I got glasses in here. And sometimes, depending on what day of the week it is, I be keeping like... <laughs> I think even like underwear in this house, like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Like sometimes you just gotta have like panties in your purse just in ready. case. So I, I put it in this bag because just in case. So they're like, not just hanging around. There. They're not just exactly <laughs> my purse is. You know, like the bottom be dirty and stuff. So I got some AirPods. I got a lint roller because oh, period. This is like so essential. This is one of my fave chapsticks because it's tinted. Another lip gloss is my garage door opener. I have another lip liner. It's roll on perfume. Usually I have, I have a spray one in here mm-hmm. sometimes, but my purse For is emergency. too heavy. More lipstick. Eye drops, cause you know, I'll be smoking sometimes. Okay. So I have this. I have this camera. It's a disposable camera. Well, you can put different film in here. I mean, technically it's disposable, but it's not like the real disposable yeah. camera, you know? But I gotta develop the that film because so I know we have some stuff on here. This is spray deodorant. Love that. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Always. Tylenol. Even though I said, remember I was telling you this year I'm gonna get into like herbal medicine more. I haven't taken Tylenol or any medicine since the beginning of the year. Okay. I know it's only been like five <laughs> days, but I'm on my period right now and my back hurts. I so you. I, I haven't been you. taking it. I have a compact because you have to have a compact, like in your purse, you know, and then it has the mirror. Mira. I have an EpiPen because, you know, I will die if I eat pistachios. Pistachios? Yeah, it's, it's not peanuts? Allergic. Nope. Not all peanuts, just pistachios and whatever is related to pistachios. What? Yes. That's crazy. It's really good. Got some lotion. Ooh. Some more chapstick. I need to clean the bottom of my purse because it's dirty. What else? So I have more in the side pockets. I feel like you usually have more stuff in there. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I usually do have more stuff in there. Band-aids. Band-aids. And first this aid is kit. a mini nail file. I did have a first aid kit in here <laughs> for a little bit lighter, of course. A Tide to go wipe. Oh, nice. I be clumsy sometimes. I feel you. This is a vaginal wipe. Just, okay, okay. You know, sometimes you need it. This is Listerine, Listerine. I usually keep bobby pins at the bottom of my bag. And I think that's it. That's an essential girl bag right there. Exactly. <laughs> the essentials are in here. Sometimes I keep those, you know, like to go toothbrush. Yeah. Ones. Yeah. Sometimes I keep those in here. That's what I have in my bag, you guys. Yep. All right, guys, this about wraps up this session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Lil for coming back again. Let us know if you guys want, like, another part to this, part three. We were thinking about doing a truth and drink. That one's going to be fun. That would be a good one. I appreciate y'all for coming to this session, and I'll see you next time.